The labor shortage is now hitting the North Pole. According to HireSanta.com, fewer people are willing to play jolly old St. Nick this year. We're seeing demand up over 120 percent over what it was uh, last year and pre-pandemic, as well as there are just fewer Santa Clauses. Oh, that's just sad to hear. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's resulted in a 15 percent drop in the number of Santas available for hire. But as WJCL's Brooke Butler found out, Chris Kringle's here in Georgia. They're determined to make the spirits bright this holiday season. Well, hello. Hi. This year, Santa Claus of coastal Georgia is busier than ever. Are you ready for Christmas? Yeah. Visiting cities and towns across the state. Hey, buddy. Hello. So he can ask kids on the nice list. And you are on the good list. You know that, right? What they want for Christmas. I want five pounds of chocolate. Five pounds of chocolate? <laughs> You don't want to end up like me, do you? Santa Claus of Coastal Georgia tells us he's booked solid this year. Here's your candy cane. All right. But he doesn't mind. It's for the kids. I, I don't care. I, I'll work 24 hours a day if the kids need me. While the COVID-19 pandemic has driven some to give up the gig. Santa Claus is, for the most part, we're older guys. So we're at risk a little bit more. This Chris Kringle has come up with ways to keep both him and the kids he visits with safe. With a little attention to detail and understanding and uh, safety minded, being safety minded, you know, it works. It works. It can be done. He tells WJCL he's been vaccinated and he puts on a shield or a face mask whenever necessary. When they come up with a mask, right, they're already uneasy. So I, I, it's my job to make everybody feel comfortable. After all, taking these precautions allows him to do what he loves best. There you go, buddy. Merry Christmas. Visit with Georgia's boys and girls to get them excited for Christmas Day. Here's a candy cane. Merry Christmas. Don't forget the milk and cookies. Okay? <laughs> Don't forget the milk and cookies. That's important. And that little yeah, boy, really? he wanted five pounds of chocolate. <laughs> yeah, I, I still want to talk to Santa about the little red wagon I didn't get. Oh, you know. you're still holding that. Yeah, but you know, this year I'll let it go. Okay, well, maybe this year he might be listening. Yeah, All right, well, that was Brooke Butler reporting that. And we heard from representatives from both the Savannah Mall mm -hmm. and the Oglethorpe Mall. And the Savannah Mall says they just booked their Santa three days ago mm -hmm. because their original Santa canceled at the last minute due to COVID concerns. Interesting. And now, as far as the Oglethorpe Mall is concerned, representatives say that their Santas are vaccinated. They're vaccinated unless they're exempt for medical or religious reasons, which in that case, they'll be tested weekly.